Mina-san konnichiwa. This is David. And Mina. And tonight we are reviewing the Wing Zero Hono. Because you asked. Because you asked and because I wanted to. <laughs> Sorry I put it off so long. Um, I've been very busy this week. We went to Tokyo. Yeah, we went down to Tokyo and visited, <coughs> visited um, Gundam Front in Odaiba, um, mm -hmm. amongst other things. But uh, So, the Wing Zero Hono. Um, just to put it out there, I love the kit. Mm. I am I am utterly in love with this kit. Um, it, like so many of the other Build Fighters kits, has impressed me as far as um, HGs go. It is wonderful. Um, it, I mean, for one, the Hono is a great design. I love it. It is... Um, what is the Hono from originally? Um, the Hono is from, actually, Gundam Build Fighters Hono, uh, which is a manga. Oh, okay. So this is a totally original kit. Uh, Not derivative. Well, oh, 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 you mean the, the original, the base kit. It's yeah. the Wing Zero. It's the Wing Zero from oh, okay. um, Gundam Wing. Right. Um, not the not the Wing Zero custom from right. Endless Waltz, but the... Without the angel wings. Yes, it does not have the angel wings. Um, it is it is the... Um, <laughs> well, I, I don't really like wing kits very much, um, but ironically, Build Fighters has given us a few of them that I like, because mm -hmm. I really like the Fenice, yeah. and I really like the Renashida. Um, and this one is wonderful too. So we're looking forward to the MG of the Renesita, right? Yeah, which is coming out in June. Yay. So, okay. So anyway, to show you a little bit about the kit. First off, it has Buster rifles. These are similar to the ones on the Wing Zero. Um, they one of the, one of my few complaints about the kit stickers oh. on the Buster rifles. Ugly. They are ugly. Um, they 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 are ugly. They stand out. Un or fortunately, in my case, though, I don't like Buster Rifles, uh, or at least I don't like these Buster <laughs> Rifles, and I most certainly don't like them on the Hono. Um, they detract from the real quality of the kit. Yeah, um, they don't look like a weapon he would carry. Yes, exactly. So I just kind of like... And they connect just like the Wing Zeros, um, so it does the... Um, the God damn it, I can't remember, but the um, big blast. The, Double Buster Explosion Alley. Yes, um, the the colony destroyer <laughs> um so anyway i just throw it in the box mm. and don't give a shit about it uh it also sometimes comes... we let the girls play with our extra weapons and yes. put them on their barbie dolls and stuff and it's really cute uh, yeah apparently monster high dolls have hands that can hold them yes um but anyway uh so beam sabers um these really nice um ecto cooler colored beam sabers mm. i don't give a shit about the beam sabers they don't look like the hono to me mm. they in go the in the box, box. okay <laughs> So, if you're familiar with the Wing Zero kits, um, this is very similar. Um, the articulation is going to be very similar to the modern ones. Um, it's pretty articulate. I mean, it is articulate as the design would allow. Um, the arms bend out forward. That way you can connect the two Buster rifles together um, in front of it. Um, and he can hold that pose? Yeah, he can hold that pose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I know you had that trouble with the Endless Waltz. Oh, yeah, with the RG. Well, yeah. that's because RG hands suck. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the shield goes on the back. Um, it's lovely. It is lovely. I really like it. I love that you can see through it. Mm -hmm. And again, this this plastic, it's the same that's on, like, the build burning. Yes. It, it has, a, like, a neon Tron effect because of the edging. It looks like it's, um, I forget the word, every time I mention it. Like a wireframe or something? No, like a fiber optic. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, it can also go onto his arm as a shield, um, but then it detracts from the swords. So, mm -hmm. But um, it's a lovely shield, and but I like it as the back. Um, it, it basically becomes the back skirt whenever it's connected to the rear, um, and it just snaps on there. It's very stable, very secure, because it has these two really big slots to go on there. Mm. Um, so that's nice. You can even hold them up by it. Like It's, it's nice and intense. Um, but anyway, there's that. Um, I had someone ask me, so the backpack is in fact just a standard two peg Build Fighters backpack ah. um, with an adapter. You could put this on any single Build Fighters kit. Most UC kits, um, pretty much any modern kit will fit it. And um, most importantly, that means he can carry around the Bear Guy F baby. Yeah, he'll be able to carry around the Bear Guy, Bear guy baby. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's how I determine a good kit. <laughs> so we have um, 
we have our our search eye, I believe is what it's called. The, oh, so yeah, the, yeah, I, the, yeah. I was corrected. It's not a drive core. Um, oh, no. it, it is called a search eye, but um, it's been years <laughs> since I paid attention to wing. So, but it's it's actually kind of nice. It's got a nice foil piece under there. Yeah, it's real pretty. Um, so it looks good. Um, you have your nice effects pieces all over. Um, I did the recommended customization on here just to test it out, which is basically to. Um, chrome and panel line the um underside of the the knee i think it does a great effect it does it actually complements that effect piece very very well it really enhances that yeah so um the sort of interesting gimmicks for the wing zero hono um instead of having those two wings that open up um and they are just bigger wings this has that same effect however these two pieces <laughs> pop off I, I love that, that build fighter gamify kind of, it could be wings or it could be more weapons. Yes, you know? yes. Well, that's the whole thing. Like, it's all about adaptive uh, or about adaptability. <laughs> when right? in doubt, make it more guns. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that way you have more special attacks and so you can how, surprise people. Also how I deal with online uh, social interactions. Right? Yeah. Yeah. More guns, right? More guns. Um, so anyway. The backpack actually looks kind of cool without the swords, it too, is. so that's kind of nice. But anyway, here's these two swords. They are identical, or they are symmetrical. Uh, I would call those fairly badass. Yes, they are fairly badass. And, and they have, of course, the lovely flame effect of the, the Hono motif. Um, Hono, of course, is um, for blaze. Right? Yes. It is not fire. It is no. big fire, big flash big. fire. Um. You can't just slip those into the hands because they're heavy. They're they're secured really you nicely. Have the back panel there. Yeah. yeah, you have to take the hand panel off. But that's a pretty common feature. Um, you know, I'm always really picky about the weapons on these things because I don't particularly like weapons. Period. But yeah. These are beautiful. Yeah. So there we go. We have those um, those swords. They they are pretty stable. Um, as far as HG weapons go, they are not going to go all over the place. And the Wing Zero, it, it they are they are very they're pretty stable, so you can actually wow. balance him just fine. Uh, particularly because he has effectively the same thing on his back. Oh, sure, the same way. So he's he's actually a really well balanced kit. Um, he can stand up just can great. Can he you know hold up one of those swords while the other one is you know in some other pose? Oh yeah yeah yeah, he can hold them up. He can be triumphant. And, I mean, because you have those extra two on the back, you can put them in whatever pose you want, really. Mm. Um, like, you can fully extend the swords. You can draw them both over in this direction. Oh. Yeah, he, he is able to pose pretty much however you want. Mm. Um, that's pretty awesome to me. I think yeah. I, it's it's just an all-around great kit. Um, it's it's beautiful. Especially for an HG. Yeah, for it. I really, like, if they put out an... Um, an MG of this kit, I would buy it in a heartbeat. Mm. Um, I mean, I would probably anyway if they did a bit more Build Fighters HGs. I mean, we're gonna get the Renashita as, the, as soon as it comes out. But <laughs> dear Bandai, I would, I would be, I would be very happy. <coughs> I would be very happy if they did Don't an MG. Love um, so that's the kit. It's it's pretty simple. Um, it doesn't like. It has its fun gimmick with the swords. I really like that. I think it's it's a really great, very tight aesthetic um, that shines through and shows. Blazes through. Yeah, blazes through. Um, and it really, it shows in every aspect of the design from the effects pieces to those swords, to the back, um, even to the skirts. You have a flame motif. Um, so this is like... This is clearly not from the cartoon. This is from a manga, and this really has the sort of like the heart of that to it. It's a, it is a fiery kit, like, and I like that. I think the blaze on gunpla. Blaze on gunpla. <laughs> uh, yes. So there we go. Um, additionally, I'm actually going to review the option parts um, that come with uh, Hobby Japan magazine that expand upon this kit. So I'm going to do that review and I will be posting that pretty much simultaneously here. Um, so click on the link, you know, stick around and we will see you soon. Matane. Matane.